Yo, what's up traders? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm sharing you guys a coaching session that I did with my Discord group yesterday, but I'm gonna post it on YouTube for you guys. We are showing you guys exactly how to trade price action. So if you guys are excited, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Okay, so basically what I want to go over with this session is actually nothing to do with Ili Algo. This is more something to do with price action because it is very important that you understand price action in order to use Elite Algo to its fullest ability. So we're not gonna be talking about Elite Algo today, we're only gonna be talking about price action. So how to trade based off the price that's happening on the chart, okay? This will work for any type of market. So crypto, stocks, Forex, if you're trading gold or indices, uh, futures, it doesn't matter, okay? It will work for pretty much everything. The first thing we need to understand how to do is we need to understand how to look at a chart and draw trend lines. What are trend lines? Trend lines, very simply, guys, it's just up here. If you go into the toolbar, click this little icon, it's going to show you trend line. This is basically just a line that either moves upwards or downwards. Okay, so very, very simple. Now, how do you use these trend lines to actually give you ideas of when to trade? This is very simple. Okay, what you want to look for on the chart is you want to look to try and connect at least two lows of a chart together and that will form a proper trend line so for example right here we can see that this trend line right here is connecting this low and it's also connecting this low and this low right we can see the price came down and touched this trend line so what happens now is we have a valid trend line that we can use as support and resistance for our trades Okay, so this is how I want you guys to look at it. Okay, before drawing a trend line, you need to make sure that there's at least two points that can be used on that trend line. So, for example, right here, we got one point, and this is two points. Now, what happens now that we have two points available on the trend line is now it validates this trend line. So, now this trend line is valid. If there isn't two points on this trend line, this trend line is no longer valid, okay? This is very important for you guys to understand, okay? Now, the importance of it being like super, super close to the candle doesn't really matter. We're really looking at it more as a general area. So think of it as like a little bit of an area ab above and below this little trend line, okay? So if we were to draw like two of them, for example, it would be like, sorry, it'd be like an area around this big right here, okay? I want you guys just to remember this, that it's not a, a for sure line. It's more of an area, okay? But this line will help us understand what's happening on the chart very, very easily. Now, as we can see right here, we had these two touches. One, two. So now what do we want to do if we see these two touches? So if we were to go back to here to the replay, for example, and this is what we see right now. So we see one touch, two touch, and we see that, okay, if we go up, we saw that the price has come down and it's retracing, right? So we, it could be a start of a new uptrend because it did not create a lower low, right? So this low is lower than this low. So the price did not create a lower low, which means that an uptrend can be starting. Now, this is what we want to look for. We want to look for the price to come back down into this trend line and then show us signs that it's going to go back up based on the candle themselves, okay? So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to press play real quick. We're going to see it comes down. This touches the trend, the trend line right here. And then look what we see here. We see this massive doji candle. This candle right here is called a doji candle. I want you guys to remember this. When a candle looks like this, this is called a doji candle. Now, whenever you see a candle that looks like this, this means that there is indecision in the market, right? So it's a it's a fight between buyers and sellers. And right now, no one is winning when you see this type of candle. So they're all fighting each other. So what we want to do next is we simply just want to wait and see if we can get uh, a big green red candle right after it or at least two big green candles right after it. Boom. So now we see we have a big green candle right after the doji, right? You see that? this big engulfing candle that was just printed. This is a sign that right now there is more buyers in the market than there is sellers. So now what you can do is now you can take your trade, right? So we would have taken the trade, right? 
right at this big engulfing candle. And we would have used a take profit and stop loss like this. So we can see over here that we have our trend line, right? We see over here that we have a pretty good support for building up, right? This is an area of structure. Look how many times the price has touched this area before not being able to break it, right? This is very, very important. So now we know that the price is going to start going up. So what do we do here? Now we just got to set our take profit and our stop loss, okay? And obviously this is this is price action trading. This is going to be a little bit more complicated if you're a beginner trader. Uh, but you can also use the algo to give you buy and sell signals alongside this type of strategy to really, really have a high win rate, okay? So then we set our, stake, our take profit and stop loss. So we can do our first take profit at a one-to-one -one ratio. And then the second take profit, we can do a two to one ratio. So something like something like that, for example. Okay. So as soon as the first take profit gets hit, we, we can take our, our stop loss and put it to break even. And that way we made some money and we don't lose any more money on trade, but we still have potential to make even more. And then what happens with this trade? Obviously price goes up, hits our first take profit, right? Because we have a lot of momentum in the market and comes back down, touches our trend line. And then look what happens here. We get another one of these you see these right here we got another let's delete this we got another doji candle right followed by a big green candle two big green candles even so that's even a bigger confirmation that the price is going to start to go up so this right here could have been another trade around this area right so our stop loss again we see that we have support right here right the the price failed to break this line multiple times right came down once twice three four five six seven eight did not was not able to break the support and then what we do we can take another trade we can target whatever we want we can even target even higher 1.5 i normally do 1.5 just as a uh, in between one and two just to kind of make it easy for me for what i want to target but as you see price couldn't go up and eventually price gets hit because we are riding the momentum of the market so we are trading off that trend line and we are trading off support resistance which in turn is price action trading when we are looking at the candles now a cool thing about uh different types of candles for example like heikinashi that you can do now unfortunately i cannot do replay with heikinashi but that's okay a cool thing with the heikinashi candles is that you can basically follow these candles when they turn green that kind of gives you an indication that okay there's momentum right and then if it turns red you can be like okay, momentum's losing here so that, that's what the heikinashi candles are for they're for helping you see momentum a lot fat sooner if you're a beginner trader versus using Japanese candles like we have right here. Now, another thing that can happen if you have a very valid trend line like we have right here, right? So we have a valid trend line over here. We could have taken another big trade right here. So our trade right here would, would have looked like this. We have this small doji candle right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in real quick. See how we have a small indecision candle right here. This is called again, a do another doji candle. And we have a big uh, engulfing candle. This means that we have momentum again. This would have been another trade. Our stop loss would have been slightly below here. Our take profit around 1.5 times. Again, you can see the price came up. Hey, our take profit. That would have been a winning trade. And the reason why we have a stop loss here, again, is because we have a very strong support around this area. You see that, guys? The price had a hard time breaking this area multiple times. So we're using this little area as a support. For our stop loss okay now eventually what happens is the price breaks out of this now what happens in price action trading is that whenever a very strong trend line is broken it's always going to go back up and retest that trend line around like 75 to 80 percent of the time the price is going to come back up and you've hit that trend line again and then we can get another idea of what can happen here so for example we see price eventually broke out of this trend line right and then what happens? Price starts to create newer lows, right? So over here, this now is a lower low versus this low, right? So now we're looking like we're in a downtrend, right? So what do we want to do? We simply just want to wait until the price goes back up, hits our trend line that we had earlier. And then we can see, okay, do we want to start trading this? What, let's, let's react to the chart and see exactly what's happening, okay? We know that a new trend has started because we're getting a lower low here. We see it, it touched our trend line up there. And we see we got a very big red candle right here. So then we can do this. We can enter a trade now to the downside. So our stop loss 
would be up here because now we have a very strong resistance up here for a CS resist, low resistance. It can break past this low area. So now we have our stop loss going that way. And then we could take another trade going this way. And that's pretty much how you guys can see what price action trading is. It's trading off these little trend lines. And when they go back and retest them as well, when that trend line breaks, it's very, very simple uh, concept when it comes to price action trading. Now, if you guys have any questions, this is the best time to start asking because I can start answering these questions. Anybody have any questions? How to figure out false breakouts. So basically what you want to do is you don't want to trade as soon as the, the trend line is broken, you want to wait for a retest. And then again, you want to wait to see if you have a big red engulfing candle or a green engulf candle on that retest before taking the trade. So I'd, I'm not trading over here when it's like, so for example, I see over here that it broke past this trend line, right? I'm not trading this. This is not enough confirmation for me. I'm going to wait for it to retest up here and then I'm going to take the trade. Okay. This is very simple concept that you guys can follow. Also, another thing that you guys can do for these is you can use uh, trend line breaks as ideas of when you want to take out. Again, I would not enter unless I see a big engulfing candle. So I'm looking for a big red engulfing candle or a big green engulfing candle. If there's no strong market move, then you don't want to be trading on the five, five minute time frame. Trading is about patience and about waiting for the perfect opportunity. And then once you see that perfect opportunity, you can take a trade. If you have a ranging market, you don't want to be trading at all. This is very important. So another tip I also like using before you guys leave here is over here, for example, we know that it broke past this low, uh, this trend line right here we see. We start creating a lower low. I can simply draw a trend line like this, and then I can wait for this trend line to be broken to validate the new downturn trend. And as you can see, it broke it, came back up, touched the trend line again here. So it validated my trend line again before coming back down and giving us a big red engulfing candle right here, even two big red engulfing candles. And then the price would have went down. It would have caught that as well. You can use any time frame you want. Just know that the price action itself will follow the higher time frames a lot better than the lower time frames, right? Because the lower time frames are more easily manipulated by money with big moves from banks and institutions and hedge funds. So it's a lot harder for them to manipulate the market on the four hour time frame versus it is to manipulate the market on the five minute time frame. So that's why I personally like trading higher time frames. It just makes it so I have a higher win rate because it's less influenced by banks and hedge funds and manipulation. As again, I hope you guys liked that video. If you guys learned something in that video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel and motivates us to keep making video content just like this so you guys can learn trading the proper way. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.